Now, I got to be honest with you. I nominated this next one myself, but not for this dish. I got turned down on mine, you see, but Karen Nicholson from Burien, she, she got hers uh, done. This is at the 1200 Bistro on Capitol Hill in Seattle, a place that I, I eat maybe three, four, five times a year. Wonderful food, wonderful service. But you ran into some, this, this is Karen Nick, 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 I'm sorry, Nicholson. <laughs> yes. um, Goodness, isn't that all? Uh, you ran into something that really surprised you when you went to the beach. I did, I did indeed. <coughs> it was a, um, it was a hot salad, and a hot salad. It was a hot salad, and it was just it had such fascinating ingredients that with the calamari and the radicchio and a wonderful, wonderful dressing. And I didn't even realize as I read the menu that it was going to be hot. So you Until I reached down and I touched the plate and <laughs> yeah. almost got burned, but okay. it was so good. Well, we're going to ask you to step out, Karen, and, and we're going to have uh, Chef uh, Chet Wallenstein do the the the, the uh, what is it? It's a hot salad, fried calamari what? hot salad, yep. and then we'll bring you back in and see if you get it right. All right. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Chet, welcome. Thank you. Thank You've you. got a lot of ingredients here, my friend. We do. This is a warm salad that we've cycled through the uh, menu a couple times over the past couple years and uh, sort of a fall to winter salad mm -hmm. can be enjoyed any time of year. Okay, well let's, let's cook one. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is uh, prepare our greens and all of our cold stuff and then we're going to fry the squid. Okay. So I've got some hot oil over here for you anytime you're ready to fry, Chet. <laughs> okay, excellent. Looks um, like some frise. Just a little frise and we're Curly just going to take off the dark green pieces. Oh, are they too uh, too we, strong? Is we tend it? to think that they're a touch too bitter. Okay. So we uh, we just give them a little haircut and uh, I'm just glad you're using this stuff. Some people are so afraid of bitter that they shy away from these stronger greens, but this is a wonderful green. I think uh, bitterness and acidity in, in our food is sort of one of our some of our trademarks. So we uh, tend to use it often. Bitterness and acidity, does that reflect your nature? <laughs> no. Well, no. Some, no, some may say sweet. that. Some may say that. <laughs> so here's a frisee, just cut in half. and It's easy to fix. Dropped in there. And you know what? I think that's going to be enough just okay. for our purposes. Sure. So we'll clean that up, put that here. I love this stuff. Here's another sort of uh, something from the chicory family. This is a radicchio. Okay, now tell me what that is. So it looks like a small cabbage. It's like a small cabbage. It's uh, not quite as uh, firm as say, red cabbage. It's uh, a little leafier. Um, a lot of moisture, too. A lot of moisture. It's and actually much more closely related to this than it is to cabbage. Cabbage. Oh, okay. It's, it, it's okay. in the chicory family. It's a, it's a bitter green in the lettuce. It's a cousin of lettuce. So I'm just going to take the core out and uh, turn it outside and just give it sort of a... Kind a, of a chiffonade there. Exactly. A little thicker, but general idea of a chiffonade. And we're just going to put that in there as well. Yeah, those look so good together. Look to this. that, we're going to add uh, some capers that we just chopped uh, roughly. Chet, are those capers that come dry packed or the kind that come in brine? They're in brine. They're in so you brine. You them drain them and them. We drained them and uh, they're not packed in salt, so no need to rinse them. Just drain them and chop them. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. okay. That's nice. You've already got some bitter, some salty, some tart. Yeah, and we try to. I think we hit all all taste uh, buds with it, or we try to. And least. what's this? These are uh, Mama Lil peppers, a Seattle product. Mama uh, Lil. Yeah, it's a like. company uh, that uh, gentleman Howard Lev has, and uh, it's a Hungarian goat horn pepper that's grown in the Yakima Valley, and he uh, basically uh, and oil. pickles them uh, in vinegar for a short period of time, and then packs them in oil. Great. How, now, how, how, how do they differ from other peppers? Are they hot? Are they mild? I think they, they I, I would classify them as hot. Okay. Um, not like a habanero okay, or anything, right. but a little bit on the spicy, smoky yeah, side. I'm going to. Also, mm. going to add a couple of oh, uh, cherry mm -hmm. tomatoes. Hot, hot like but that. not too hot. Exactly. I'm just going to have the cherries, cherry tomatoes. Please note that the preparation in this is really very, very reasonable and something you can easily do in your kitchen. Yeah, it's it, it's a pretty easy one to get together on a short notice. All right, there we got everything, I think. Um, lastly, we, we uh, dress the salad with a gremolata and lemon oil. Um, gremolata is sort of a 
south of France uh, condiment that you'll see on tables to garnish lamb or fish or anything really. And we sort of have it deconstructed here, but it's generally uh, chopped parsley. Okay. And um, now I associate gremolata with osobuco, like mm -hmm. the, the bit of lemon and parsley that you put on top of sure. the veal shank. So you deconstructed, you say, you've got the parsley. You've got the parsley, you've got the minced shallots. Um, we have lemon zest as well. It usually also has some uh, minced garlic, but we keep it out uh, for this salad just because I think it's going to be overkill. So the shallot is enough. Exactly. And is that the Meyer lemon zest? I see you have some it Meyer It is. We brought Meyer nice. lemons just because they're in such great season. Right now. Yeah. What, what's a Meyer lemon? It's, uh, it's a little sweeter than an ordinary lemon. Is it? Yeah, and it's a really nice darker, color. Too. And yeah, if you yeah, scratch nice color. it to get the scent there, George can. It's really pleasant. It's got oh, a yeah. nice kind of. Not, not, not the, the strong. Yeah, they're great. So the, lem the Meyer lemons and this nice olive oil we'll use after we add the squid. So at this okay. point, ah. we're ready to add the squid. And I'm just going to put a little on the cutting board here. So you just get all that stuff ready ahead of time exactly. in the salad bowl so that when your hot squid comes along, you have a place to put exactly. it. Exactly. Right. The, the heat, the warmth from the salad is basically coming from this oil. Love it. So. Here, you want to clean your knife once? That'd be great. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead. Um, we don't use the tentacles, but there's no reason why you couldn't use the okay, tentacles. Okay, I was going to ask you I about that. I love the tentacles. Yeah. I, don't, I like chewy portion better. Do you? I, really, yeah, I like I, it I really all. Do. The combination. Squid is so cool and really abundant. I mean, as a lot of fisheries are challenged with overfishing, squid seems to remain strong. Squid, the squid is, is, is a strange one, I think, because a lot of people who have never tried it say, oh, I, I wouldn't like that. And but yet, don't, it's don't the mildest, the minute you taste it, you're going to change your mind. delicious yeah. seafood ever. Because I went away, I thought, squid, oh my, octopus, no, no, no. It's so neutral. It really takes on the character of whatever you put with it. Okay. So How long do these take to fry, Chad? They take about 30 seconds. Not now, long. this really? oil is almost smoking hot. I'm going to turn it down turn just it a little. Turn it down just a touch. That'd be great. Okay. So all we're going to do is, right here, we have some fine-grade cornmeal. Okay. Great. We're just going to put that in, sort of mix it together a little. Well, this takes me back to my southern roots. Yeah. So we used to fry uh, a lot of stuff, <laughs> fried okra and cornmeal. I love meal. fried deep fried okra. Oh, uh, yeah. Anything fried in cornmeal yeah. is going to taste good. This will just come over here. No salt and pepper or anything, huh? Just, no. Okay. We'll do that afterwards. Okay. So we got our squid here. And I always think I want to avoid overcrowding when I'm frying. Definitely. Definitely. So. So I think that should be about enough. Okay. Can I scatter these around in there? You sure. want to leave them in this? I'll take that out of your way. There they go. Oh, ah, now we're cooking. There we go. <laughs> and how long? Maybe 30 seconds? Maybe 30 seconds. You'll see the oil sort of is bubbling now. And once you can sort of see the squid, um, they, do they rise? So, so far, I can't see anything. rise a little and you <laughs> should be able to see it. Hopefully, it didn't uh, disappear on us. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there they go. Oh, oh, but maybe a little more color. Touch more. Oh, these are gorgeous. Aren't they? I've never fried squid in cornmeal, but I will. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's going to be my new favorite Let's thing. Let's do that one on the end there. Okay, so those fry quickly. Those look great. And should I drain them right here on this oil? Yeah, that's what that little towel is I mean, on the for. towel. Oh, oh, I see how they come to the top too. and you can it, see them. It's and really, yeah, very this is they comfort just float up there. And I love the way, Chet, you have the contrast, not only between the colors and the, and the flavors here, but the... Uh, you know, there's that psychological thing of something fried is so bad for me, but the salad's so healthy. Right, so you've got this kind of, it. you know, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's of, okay. It's kind of be bad <laughs> makeup order. Got one that got away. So, um, at this point, we're going to give it a little S&P. Nice. What kind of salt do you use? Uh, we just use a kosher salt uh -huh. for this salad. We use a lot of people are now using kosher salt. It's easier to handle it when really you're cooking, is. and if you measure by pinching, I, you I can actually the feel kosher what from you've sea got. salt, and it, it is easier to work with. But. Oh, this is wonderful. So there's a the squid. We got some nice uh, extra virgin olive oil. So you don't make a dressing ahead. You just dress it. You meat. know, at the restaurant we do, but I thought just so I could. Uh, Show how, yeah. show how we do, how much dressing and olive oil and lemon juice we put in. I would do it like this today. Nice. And I'm going to take one of these nice Meyer lemons that are filled with juice. 
So I'm hoping with global warming that soon we'll be able to grow Meyer lemons here in our own backyards. It would be nice. <laughs> there may be some advantage to it. Are they juicier right? than a normal lemon? They, I think they are. Uh -huh. They contain a ton of juice. I think I have some tongs. Tongs would be great. And I'm also going to give it a little more this, salt and pepper. This thing. Should I start tossing sure. a little? Sure. Sure. Okay. Ah, there, there we go. Tongs are better. Okay. Let's okay, taste. Okay. Let's toss it. Let's let, let's get uh, Karen back in here. Oh, we I think like you did good, Karen. I really do. It looks <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> so, do you want to set up one for how you would like it to look? Sure. And sure. then another one for tasting. All right. Great. Let's get all these goodies mixed a little. That is such a colorful and Isn't interesting it? mixture of things. I love this, Chet. Good. I can't wait to go to 1200 Bistro. You know, that, that salad could be almost a meal, certainly a lunch. Yeah, Very no, nice definitely. Lunch. Do we need reservations to get in there tonight? <laughs> uh, for you, Greg, no. You can got to take care of any time. Okay. I'm on my way. Is okay. we can come to? Exactly. we got a, we got well, a six top you were glad for you. Got reservations. I, I have been, too. I, I always call for reservations. And I got a, a little chance. spring of a little mint, or a little parsley there as well. Let me get you a garnish. <laughs> a fork you here, much. you bet. I take it and uh, the rest of them just fell over. <laughs> I like the, the parsley too. It kind yeah, of live brings out the chopped parsley that you had. <laughs> right, from so it reinforces okay. it. Can you get it? Oh no, they went off the There's a little yeah, taste did. here. Okay, I'll take it. I'm looking over right here, I forgot one thing. A little pine nuts. Just a little. Very good. A little <laughs> toasted <laughs> pine nuts. Oh, there we go. A little toasted oh, pine nuts. Pine nuts. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's nice. garnish oh, with there. That is a, a nice touch. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Good. Well, Chad, do you want to taste to make sure it's sure. the way well, you mm, quality control it to here? Mm. Oh, oh, that is a wonderful one. combination. Mm -hmm. Okay, back on the again. We'll be back in about an hour, folks, after we get through doing this.